Hello and thank you for watching. Uh, this is part three in our series on uh, raising mission support. And we're still on the subject of marketing. And I want to encourage you, if you have not seen parts one and two, uh, you're getting a little way ahead of the game if you start on part three now. I would encourage you to stop here and go back and watch the first two because this is a continuation of those, uh, those videos. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 2, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And what I'm going to do now is make kind of a spiritual application as far as uh, photography. And the idea is when you reprove somebody, uh, you don't beat them over the head with the doctrine or whatever it is. Uh, you're planting a seed, you're gently nudging them in the right direction, and then you come back later and then uh, uh, and, and review the, and, and repeat the process. And uh, some people, you know, they're off in their doctrine and you can't correct them overnight. It takes, it takes some time. And that, it takes, that verse mentioned long-suffering and doctrine. Long-suffering takes a long time. And uh, I know at times past, uh, myself, I was wrong in various things through the years. And nobody just never came up to me and showed me like something and the change occurred overnight with the doctrine. It's something they like planted a seed in my heart and it took some time to, uh, for me to recognize my error. And uh, anyway, uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because when it comes to photography and marketing the postcards, you just don't like whenever you get ready to build a card, you just don't go out and shoot a picture and stay in front of the card and then you mail it out. It doesn't work that way. What you do is you have to carry a device with you at times to take advantage of uh, unpredictable opportunities to shoot uh, photographs. It's a long, it's a long process. It's a long suffering. It's not like instant. You just don't decide, oh, let's go out and look at something to take a picture of, and make a postcard out. It doesn't work that way. And uh, I've been doing it quite a few years. And when I first started out, uh, I I did have a cell phone, but it didn't have a camera on it. And I was using uh, I was using a Canon what they call an Elf Canon Elf camera, and they also call it a uh, Isis as well, looks something like that. I was using that. I don't use this now, and uh, like now I have uh, a cell phone camera. My cell phone has a camera in it, so I don't, I, I no longer use this. And this had like a little carrying device that you can put on your belt. And everywhere I went, I carried this on my side. And uh, I could put my jacket over it, cover it up. Uh, if I was riding like the subway or buses or whatever, my jacket covered it up. And with this top over it, it was kind of difficult for somebody to steal it from me. Uh, this is my second camera. The first one was stolen from me. And I had somebody break into my apartment uh, while we were gone and uh, stole all the electronics. Uh, stole my cameras and uh, projector and different things. And, they, and anyway, went back and got that. And, uh, and the one they stole was pretty much worn out already. I think I had a thousand photos on it already. And, uh, and what you do is after you take the photos, you just simply plug a USB uh, a wire connector into your, your, uh, into your camera. There's a little place right there that you can plug it in. And then just uh, transfer it over to your computer and just save it. And uh, the thing is this, you save these photos over a long period of time. Um, uh, if you want to, say you want to write a postcard on a certain subject and, and you've got some pictures in your database and you can use those pictures. Real easy to do. And uh, anyway, I had another uh, missionary fellow. His name was Russell Wright. He was on the missions uh, in this area for a long time. And he went back to the States. He's been on rather a long uh, Deputation has been out. It's been off field a while, and uh, anyway, before he left, he's a good brother. He's always trying to help me any way that he could. Uh, I don't know if you know this guy, but he had a big heart for missions, and uh, he gave me a cell phone before he left. And his cell phone, at the time, his cell phone had a camera on the back. This looks, I mean, today this looks archaic, but back when he gave it to me, this was a high tech device. This was a big deal. This has been many years ago. And Russell even uh, put in an extra large memory chip so he could take more pictures with it. And he kept it in his pocket. And I thought, man, this guy was really organized. And so when he left, he gave me a cell phone. And so I put in another, I put my cell phone card in and started using his phone, stuck in my pocket. And I was, and I started getting even more pictures. 
because uh, I, I no longer had to lug around this, this camera on my side. And then uh, this is a Nokia. And then uh, this one, I just flat out wore it out. It bit the dust. Just flat out wore it out. And it started acting up. And then by the time uh, this phone was already out, this phone had came out. This is another Nokia. And uh, has a camera on the back right there. And uh, by the time that, that I got searching for another cell phone, these were on sale because these were like last generation. They have newer generation out now. This one still has all the little buttons on it and everything. And uh, so anyway, this is like older generation. By the time I bought this, I, I got this one about, uh, oh, about, uh, I guess, two years ago. And uh, has a cell, has a camera on the back, a really good camera. And I shoot pictures all, but I carry this one in my pocket now. I still carry it now in my pocket. And I, anything unusual out there, anything that's really neat or an oper special opportunity, I just take a picture of it. I don't even think about it. Just take a picture of it and click it off, stick it in my pocket. And, uh, and then at a future date, just download. I don't immediately go home and start downloading or, or transferring to my computer. I save a group of pictures and stick them on my computer. And uh, just start collecting things and collecting pictures. And before you know it, you've got some good pictures that you can use. Uh, I have evangelized markets all over the Ukraine. And uh, I've carried these devices in there. And every now and then you get a really neat photo of somebody that's reading a track. Uh, sometimes when you pass tracks out, people have never, there's been people out there that have never heard how to be saved. And all of a sudden you give them that track and you can tell they're glued into it. I have made many photos of people reading gospel tracks. And uh, that, to me, that's, the, that's what it's all about, planting seed. And uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, I used to carry... I used to carry this camera. I would carry a stack of tracks on top of this camera. And I would turn it over and click, click a picture. And uh, if I ever seen something neat, I actually had the camera in my hand, just ready to shoot something. And uh, so you just have to shoot all the pictures that you can, be instant in season, just shoot everything that you can. And uh, anything unusual or neat looking or, or anything where you're seeing somebody, uh, maybe from a cult, you know, or some. We have really made some, we've, we've taken pictures of uh, priests baptizing the motors of cars, you know, baptizing with water. I mean, we took it all kind of photographs. Uh, the cards, on the front of the cards, you can use a lot of variety. We, uh, one, one year, we had a brother that passed on in uh, Lviv, and, and uh, we were going over to help every other weekend, and I was preaching there every other weekend. And uh, we were catching the trains over, and uh, every now and then Wiz Air had a special on flight. We'd fly to, fly to Lviv, translators and I. And so we made this postcard up. It's got like several pictures. And I, I never made these pictures up with intent of making a postcard. I just clicked off a really neat picture. that had a guy in there that played the accordion. That's Wiz Air. We flew on that plane. And this is Brother Edgar, a real younger brother that's uh, really sharp spiritually. And, members of the church there. So we just took the picture, took all these pictures, and, and later on, later on, I uh, was looking for some ideas, and it just all kind of like came together. And just got so many different cards out there. We just put pictures together, and uh, probably seen this one before in, in previous video. Picture of the church I'm at now with me preaching, and we had dinner on the grounds, and had a visitor from the USA, and, and uh, I just shot a bunch of pictures, like in this one, in this one postcard. Uh, remember, I send them out every month. I send them out every month. And uh, like today, uh, yesterday, I put in my postcards that get mailed out at the end of the week. And uh, what I try to do is I try to time them to where they uh, arrive at the beginning of the month, on the first. And sometimes they arrive a couple days early or a couple days afterwards. But the target date for me is that they arrive. Uh, the beginning of the month, and so uh, right now I've already I have already put in this postcard, and I use click to mail right now, and it's put in, and you can actually put in the date that you want it to be mailed out. So I've already uploaded the graphics, everything's in there, and uh, the dates in there. It's paid for. Uh, there's various ways you can pay. You can pay. Uh, by check, you can pay by credit card or PayPal, various ways. It's uploaded, it's done. And so it will be a go out on time. It's a finished, done deal. 
And now I'm in the, on mine, I'm already looking for some other good ideas to use for my next mail up. This particular card had like one, two, three, four, five, six, six photographs on this one card. And the colors turn out okay. And I actually built this card on my iPad. And uh, there's others. Uh, here's a picture of a friend of mine. Uh, him and I, we had our own little picnic. Had a bunch of guys with us. And uh, we made Chess Lake, which is barbecue. And this, this postcard explains how they make barbecue here in, in a Russian environment. And uh, pretty interesting. And, and uh, this guy got saved, and he's been a big blessing. And uh, had another, uh, I've got a balcony where I live, and this particular postcard uh, had some baby doves out there. Some birds wanted to fly in and, and lay their little eggs on my balcony, and so I let them do it. And in our Bible study, this is a Bible study right here inside my apartment. And uh, we opened the door, and the birds wanted to come in. And these birds came in and went through my hallway, and one was wanting to sit inside my shoe, like my shoe was a nest, you know. And, and uh, these baby birds, when they first started flying, they were jumping up and down, trying, this is on my balcony, jumping up and down, uh, trying to fly, and they learned how to fly on my balcony. And they're long gone now. This is the mom and the papa over here. And... Uh, it's four pictures here. I just clicked them off. I never thought I'd make a postcard out of it, but uh, just I try to keep some variety, something unusual. Uh, you can put in doctrine. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can put in. Like I got one postcard, of Doctrine of the Deep. Doctrine of the Deep. I uh, so did that on the mail out. And I wrote a book on uh, lowering your cholesterol biblically. The Bible has some things to say about that. And it's not one of these real, it's not a diet book or nothing like that, but I wrote a book on that. And uh, made a postcard on that, and uh, sent it out. There's, I mean, the sky is the limit. There's so many things. Uh, I I like to make blueprints. I'm a blueprint person. I made a blueprint of the New Jerusalem, and uh, sent that out like as as a Christmas card. It's been a while back, and and uh, we had a picnic, and uh, had a Bible study in my, in my where I live, and a bunch of people are here. And we had a picnic. Went out for a picnic one day after the Bible study, and and. Um, we met during the week one time. Uh, we met at kind of like a game room. They had this thing that you throw basketballs. You can play some hoop and, and see who scores the highest. This is me. I'm spinning a basketball on my finger. Uh, uh, I'm not exa exactly Pistol Pete Maravich or nothing like that, but I like to play around, shoot some basketball, a little exercise every now and then. And uh, anyway, that's what that card was about right there. And uh, anything, you can use anything. And, but the main thing is to keep in touch, to keep in touch with your uh, support base monthly. The people that are praying for you, you want to get a card with them. The people that are supporting you financially, you want to get a card with them. This particular card is grayscale. It's black and white. Uh, these cards uh, are premium. They're premium in price, but every now and then you might need to tighten your belt. Uh, or, or maybe there's a situation where you don't really need to use color. If that's the case, then you can go black and white. And the postcards are much cheaper if you go black and white. This has like a laminate on the front. All these cards have kind of like a, a plastic coated or vinyl coated laminate that's on the front, just like a, a high quality photograph. And I can actually, I don't have any water here, but I can, I can actually pour water on this postcard and then wipe it off. And it wouldn't hurt the postcard at all because it's, it's covered. And that's a good thing to have because Sometimes, uh, like when you do a mail out, it goes in somebody's mailbox, and maybe the, the, the front door of the mailbox was left open and the water, rain got in or something, and some of the other mail is wet. If your postcard gets wet, no big deal. It'll wipe it off, and it's good to go. So uh, a lot of things to consider. Once a year, I do a, uh, not once a year, but maybe once every two years, I'll stick on my postcard. I'll put something like mailing list update. And all it is is just a reminder that I'm updating my files. There's something you need to change. Maybe you want a change of address or something. Uh, uh, and when I do that, I just, since I save all my postcard graphics digitally, digitally this right here is like four, 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 four. This is like uh, 16 previous postcards that have been mailed out. And I just stuck them all there and arranged them and mailed it out. And you can look at it. It's pretty interesting graphic arts. It has a message on the back explaining what I'm doing, that kind of thing. And uh, like I was saying, the sky's the limit. Uh, anyway, hope this has been a blessing to you. Uh, thank you very much for watching.